What is going on people of the internet? My name of course is Panther. Welcome your faces back to the channel once again. Today we've got another one minute zombie map review and today's review is going to be of Alpha Omega, the second to last zombie map for the Black Ops 4 season. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. This map is essentially just Nuketown Zombies from Black Ops 2, but that's fine. There are some more areas added, and it's actually kind of cool going through the different houses. It makes it feel more like a neighborhood that you could actually see someone growing up and living in. While it is a nuke testing facility, it does give more of a neighborhood feeling to it. It is very cool that we got to see the inside of the bunker. While we did get to see that in Blackout, seeing it in Zombies is a whole different feeling, but after a while, the novelty of the bunker just kind of wears off. The electric crawlers are terrible. They suck, I hate them, they should just fuck off. Having multiple versions of the Raygun Mark II is cool, you know, having the four different upgrades, but following the traditional path of Treyarch, DLC 3, we should have seen a Raygun Mark IV. That would have been absolutely incredible. This map is essentially just a simple, easy survival map with not a whole lot going on, which is great. That's something that we've needed. We need just a simple, plain survival map where you don't have to try too hard and go on so many fetch quests. The final Avogadro boss is annoying to me and a minor nitpick, the Pack-a-Punch camo fucking sucks. So there you have it, that is my one minute review of the map Alpha Omega. It's not the best map, it's not the worst map, it's definitely kind of just in the middle of the road. Let me know what you guys think about the map in the comment section down below. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to like the video, and yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Tell me like a